you're watching a plastic tin break down within the span of 48 hours, a process which normally would take centuries. Researchers at the University of Texas have modified an enzyme to eat up plastic and are hoping to use it to tackle the plastic problem plaguing landfills. We were just really excited by, by the results and the hard work of the people who kind of um, have been conducting this research and really excited to, to do what UT's motto is, what starts here changes the world. So hopefully we can do the same when it comes to plastic reuse. Fox 7 Austin spoke with UT researcher Hal Alpert about their project as well as what this enzyme is. It's a protein, uh, and, and that's really the essence of, of what we're made up with. Uh, proteins really do a lot of the job of metabolism. It does a lot of the job of breaking things down, of building things up. And this is one particular type of enzyme that's able to chew apart plastics, just like we have enzymes that chew apart the complex sugars that we eat um, from carbohydrates. Alper says scientists were actually able to discover an enzyme capable of breaking down plastic about five years ago. And it doesn't do a great job, but but nature find, found a way to be able to take the pl uh, plastic pollution waste that was out there and start using it as in a resourceful type of manner. Their goal at the university is to modify this enzyme to make it more effective, as well as be able to work in various environments and temperatures. What we can do is go in and, and change the DNA code for that enzyme when we want to create that in a more synthetic type of fashion. Before you can see it in action at landfills in polluted areas across the globe, Alper says there's still a lot of work that has to be done. How do we deal with this messier waste when it has residues on it, where it's mixed together with other types of plastics and non-plastics and, and still get our process to work really robustly there?